The city of Batramulla is adjacent to where the ancient kingdom of Kote was located and lies bordering the idyllic Diavanna Oya. During the time of the Kote Kingdom, the cooks of the royal palace would travel across the waters of the Awanna Oya. They would commence their journey from a location named Bat Tota Mulla, directly translated as Cooked Rice Landing Corner. This name eventually became Batra Mulla. Today, the rice fields of the suburb Talangama are the very ones which provided grain to the kingdom of Kote. Batramulla has been transformed into an important suburb of Colombo and serves as the administrative capital of the country. Located just over 8 kilometers from the Colombo city center, Batramulla now houses many important government buildings, administrative offices, ministries and institutions. Some of them are the Attorney General's Office, Department of Census and Statistics, Setsiri Paya, the Department of Immigration and Emigration, the Foreign Employment Bureau, the Education Ministry, the Coconut Cultivation Board, the Central Environment Authority, and the offices of the Western Province. Of course, the newest and largest building is the Tri-Forces Defense Complex, of which the West Wing is still under construction. The Sri Lankan Parliament building is located on a man-made island on the waters of the Dewan Oya. This beautiful building was the brainchild of the renowned architect Jeffrey Bawa. The surrounding areas are manicured with lawns and walking paths. The Diavanna Oya is also home to several species of birds who use the little islands and trees for nesting. Just adjacent, you can also take a look at the monument built to honor fallen war heroes. These are the country's military and police who have lost their lives in war or due to terrorist activity. Out of the 10 best walking and exercise tracks in Colombo, Batramulla boasts of having three of the finest. These are the Kibulavela walking track, the Japan Friendship Road walking track, and the Ministry of Defense walking track. These tracks vary between lengths of two to three kilometers and are notable for the exceptional scenery and surrounding ambience. More recently, two more additions provide spaces for families and individuals to enjoy. The Diasuru Wetland Park offers walking tracks and areas to observe the fauna in their natural surrounding. The newer Jathika Handung Uyana or Sandalwood Park is the latest addition to a wide range of semi-urban outdoor spaces. 1,200 sandalwood trees have been planted and its true potential will be reached once these trees reach a larger size.
Just adjoining is the Folk Art Center, named Ape Gama. The idea is to give the city dweller a glimpse into the rural way of life. These age-old traditions and customs which were observed in the villages are now slowly disappearing. It also has a mix of local shops and handicraft vendors. The Indian Peacekeeping Force, IPKF War Memorial, is located just adjoining the Folk Arts Center and is a memorial dedicated to the lives of the Indian forces lost during the Civil War in the north and east of the country. Located at the Poldua Junction along the Sri Jayawadanapura Mavata is the Diyata Uyana Park. The park is located bordering the waters of the Diyavan Uya Lake on the west side. The park is a mix of shops, recreational areas and stores with vendors selling plants, fruits, vegetables and other assorted decor. The Diyata Uyana Park and recreational area is popular for several reasons. Firstly, the early morning fitness aficionados love to come here. These walking tracks and pathways are also adjacent to the Water's Edge Country Club, which is a separate entity. If your timing is correct, you might catch the landing or takeoff of one of the country's air taxi services on a stretch of water directly in front of the Water's Edge Clubhouse. Because of the well-planned and built infrastructure, many expatriates have located their residencies in this locality. So it's no surprise that Sri Lanka's oldest international school, too, is located within the heart of the city. The sprawling campus has an exclusive student community of just over 400 children from about 40 nationalities. Today, Batramulla has been transformed from a sleepy suburb into a vibrant and bustling city. Shops, banks, offices and restaurants line the streets, offering services which mirror everything found in the city of Colombo. However, just a few kilometers from the Pelvata Junction is Batramulla's best kept secret. The Talangama and Avarihena irrigation tanks and wetland area are located just a few hundred meters apart. The northern band of the tank serves as a road to connect Akuregoda to Talangama. Both tanks are maintained by the Department of Irrigation and are a source of irrigation water supply for around 100 acres of cultivation. The Talangama tank is situated in the low country wet zone, so the southwest monsoon directly impacts the water levels. The aesthetic and scenic vistas provided by these locations attract avid bird watchers, photographers and visitors who know of this location and come to enjoy the tranquil setting it provides. The Eva fauna in this rich ecosystem provides the opportunity to see many species of bird life and fauna, both endemic and migratory. The migratory season is between the months of September to January, adding a profusion of color and activity around the tanks. Batramulla continues to be developed as an important satellite city. 
It provides controlled and planned infrastructure development for a workforce, which finds commuting to the city centre relatively convenient.